Peace be upon you, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to a new episode of our program, The Holy Quran, in which we have a lesson divided into two parts. The first part, we explain a Tajweed rule in details and apply on it from the Quran. In the second part, you will learn some verses from the Holy Quran and how to recite them well. And if you want, you can memorize them. So, let's start today's lesson. As you see here, we're gonna talk about the rules of the treat, and this is lesson one. Noon and Mim Mushaddad. Before we explain the rule, you have to know the shape of Mim and Noon. This is the letter Mim, and this is the letter Noon. And this sign above both of them is called Shadda. This sign above is called Shadda. So we call this Mim Mushaddad, and this is Noon Mushaddad. This is Mim and the Noon Mushaddad. As you see here in these examples, in the words Annas, this is Noon with a Shadda above it. This is Mim with Shadda. This is Noon Mushaddad. And this is Noon Mushaddad. And this also is Mim Mushaddad. The rule is when you find Mim or Noon with Shadda above it, like those examples, Noon and the meme with Shadda above it, you should make a sound from your nose called Ghunna. Ghunna is a sound you make from your nose. Mm, mm. This is the sound of Ghunna. So when you have this Noon or meme with Shadda above it, you have to make mm, for two seconds. So you say Anas, not Anas. No, you should say Anas. Mimma, not Mimma. Mimma. Inna. Aljanna. Amma. So the rule here is when you see Mim or Noon with Shadda above it, you have to make mm, which we call Ghunna for two seconds. Okay? It's a very simple rule. Let's see some more examples. I want you to read this, please. You read it before me. Good. Fali ummihi. Fali ummihi. You can't say fali ummihi. You should say fali ummihi. Read this, please. Yes, right. Janet. Jannat and this Lahun Lahun As you see there is no difference between the noon or meme in the middle of the words and the noon or meme in the last of the words. It is the same. Whether it's in the middle of the word or in the last of the words, you should make Ghunna if the Shadda is existed. Lahun نعم نعم So the rule again is when you find meme or noon with shadda above it you should make a sound from your nose called on for two seconds okay Now it is the time of the next part in which we will know the right recitation of Surah Al-Nas. So please look at the screen and repeat after me. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahi Ar-Rahmani Ar-Rahim Bismillahi Ar-Rahmani Ar-Rahim Qul A'udhu Qul A'udhu A'udhu This letter, Thal when you pronounce it, you should make the edge of your tongue touch your upper tooth. A'udhu. A'udhu. Qul a'udhu bi nas. As you see here, this is the noon with shadda, which we explained today. We said the noon with shadda needs ghun. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ 
قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس ملكي not ملكي no that's wrong ملي ملكي ملك الناس and don't forget the غنى here in the noon with شدة ملك الناس إله الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس من شر من شر There is a غنى here but we will explain this rule in the next lessons إن شاء الله not today من الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس من الجنة والناس as you see here the noon with شدة the غنى should be made here الجنتي والناس I'll read it once more أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس I hope that you could understand today's lesson and it's easy and clear. See you next lesson and السلام عليكم